Kurt Rivera, 17 News at Sunrise. Inside television. I'll show you what's really happening at K Power, the new 17. There's a new look to the news on Channel 17. You're watching Emmy Award winning Kern Golden Empire Television. Now with 17 First News at 5, here's Blake Chennault, Katie Price, and Warren Flax Sports. 17 First News at 5. 1-9. Another brush fire is raging tonight in Kern County, this one on the Tahone Ranch east of the Grapevine. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for being with us. Tonight's grass fire is still burning out of control near Interstate 5. KGET continued to grow, and through hard work and dedication from the entire staff... You're watching 17 News at Sunrise with Chris Burroughs, Tammy Melchon. He would always come in in the morning excited to get to work. Uh, he loved his job, really loved the news business. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. <laughs> yes, it's finally here. Good to have you along with us. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. Now, from Kern Golden Empire Television, 17 News at 5. Up next, a preview of the governor's budget right from his right-hand man here in Bakersfield. Plus, can Scott Peterson get a fair trial in Modesto? A judge says no, and a soaring idea takes flight in the Kern County Desert. 17 News starts now. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. Now, from Kern Golden Empire Television, 17 News at 11. Hard, but, you know, we got to do what you got to do. Three months on the picket lines, and are these striking workers? Many of them have lost the very thing they were fighting for. Very pleasant good evening. Thanks for watching at 11 o'clock. The latest on the supermarket strike coming up here in just a minute. But first, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is just hours away from unveiling his budget plan. You're watching 17 News at 11 with Galen Young, My Doe, George Lindsay Young Weather, and Todd Strain Sports. 17 News at 11. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. Now, from Kern Golden Empire Television, 17 News at Sunrise. Good. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News. Kiyoshi Tomono, Tammy Melchon, and Kevin Charette with your 17 pinpoint forecast. This is 17 News at Sunrise. The Golden Empire. Now, from Kern Golden Empire Television, 17 News at Noon. Police were called in this morning when creditors came to take back equipment from a local lawyer's office. Good to have you with us here for the news at noon. That story tops our newscast. An update now on that breaking news story we have been following for you out of Fresno this morning. A Greyhound bus has crashed there with several... Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. Now from Kern Golden Empire Television, 17 News at 11. Kern County's less fortunate enjoyed an early Thanksgiving meal today. More than 300 families sat down to a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning, it's 6.01 a.m. Great to have you with us. I'm Maddie Jansen here in studio with Alex Fisher. Um, continuing to cover the coronavirus pandemic for you here. We would usually say it's back to work, back to school Monday, but so many people will be spending the day at home today instead. All right, so I gotta ask you, what'd you do this weekend? Worked in our garden and okay. cleaned my house. Yeah, it was a beautiful day outside yesterday. It was a beautiful weekend. I actually took advantage of the sunshine that we saw yesterday and laid out for a bit. It was very beautiful before all the rain came, of course. Yeah. Let's turn things over to Kevin Charette, who has a look at your forecast. And the big question is, of course, today, will the rain showers continue? 
Good morning, Alex. Yes, the rain showers are going to continue this morning around the area as we take a look at the satellite and radar right now for you. And you can see some of those uh, showers still lingering for Kern County. We did see uh, a light shower moving through Bakersfield right around uh, 10 minutes ago or so. But you can look off to the west and things are starting to kind of calm down. And that'll be the case as we go throughout the day here. 53 in Bakersfield right now. We have a north-northeast wind at 6 miles per hour. <laughs> It's the calm before the holiday storm. We're tracking your Christmas travel forecast. Good evening and Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us for 17 News at 5. I'm Amber Frias in for Tammy Milchok. And I'm Aton Wallace in for Jim Scott. Now tonight, millions are hitting the road. All Coming up next to new at 5.30 in the wake of today's historic Supreme Court decision on same-sex marriage, we'll take a look back at how this legal drama played itself out from the ballot box in 2008 to the streets of Bakersfield. Plus, he was a preacher and a politician, a South Carolina statesman, one of nine people killed in the Charleston Church Massacre, is laid to rest and eulogized by the president. We'll take you to the service when 17 News at 5 continues. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 5.30. Welcome back here at 5.30. We continue to follow a Bakersfield police officer's death killed in the line of duty this morning in a pursuit and crash in northeast Bakersfield. That crash happened around 2.40 this morning, and the area where the crash happened remains closed this hour. The department says the officer, 26-year-old David Nelson... <laughs> Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 6. Hiccups and hang-ups in the stimulus package passed recently by Congress. Local small business owners could soon get some relief. Congressman Kevin McCarthy weighing in tonight. And our local health care workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, what one local company is doing to help them, plus how you can get involved. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News with Tammy Melchuk and Chief Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson with your pinpoint Doppler forecast. Nick James with 17 Sports. This is 17 News at 11. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. Right now at 5, the First Lady set to land in Bakersfield in just a few hours ahead of a scheduled visit to Delano. Details of what's planned for her trip coming up. And new data released overnight on the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine in kids as young as 12 years old. We'll tell you what it says. Plus, it has been 100 days since two little boys were reported missing from California City. The entire county is invested in finding out what happened to the boys as the investigation stretches on. We'll have an in-depth look at the case and the latest developments. This is Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. And good morning here at 5 a.m. Good to have you with us. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher, both of us in studio for that special report coming up this morning at 6.30 on The Missing Boys. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, 17 News at Sunrise with Maddie Jansen, Alex Fisher, and Sunrise forecaster Kevin Charette. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is a 17 News break. Good morning, I'm 17's Taylor Schaub with an update on the breaking news that we've been following since 5 p.m. last night. We are now into hour 15 of what has been going on here on News at 6. We are beginning to see the first COVID-19 vaccines arrive in California. What Governor Newsom is saying about the next shipment. Plus, after tragedy, a community comes together for support. How other businesses are pitching in to help out Tina Marie's. Good Monday evening to you, and thanks for joining us here for 17 News at 6. I'm Tammy Melchuk, anchoring from home tonight. And I'm Jim Scott in the 17 News Center. We'll have more on those stories at... Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 11. We actually just have some comfort zone right now, knowing that we have enough to be able to play the employees to be on payroll again. As small business owners struggle to stay afloat, some are turning to a county program for help. 
A good Wednesday evening to you, and thanks for joining us here for 17 News at 11. We will have more on that program coming up. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 11. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for 17 News at 11. I'm Moses Small. Tonight we begin with the massive and record-breaking heat wave hitting our area this Labor Day weekend. A statewide flex alert finished for today, but it goes into effect again tomorrow and Monday. The good news, officials say there won't be any power outages related to the energy shortage tonight. That could change tomorrow. PG&E is urging everyone to conserve energy between the hours of 3 and 9 p.m. so there's enough supply to meet demand. When viewers contact us, we respond. We share your stories and help find solutions. Help when you need it most. 17 News.